Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So in Batli, a teacher has shown a cartoon of the Prophet sallallahu as part of his RE lesson. Supposedly it was the same as the Charlie Hebdo one that caused controversy in France. Since then there have been protests, the head teacher has apologized, the teacher has been removed temporarily and discussions are taking place. Naturally, the Islamophobes are cheesed off that this has had a positive and constructive conclusion. So, of course, they go to their go-to ace in the pack, which is proclaiming freedom of speech. And of course, newspapers such as Sky have also jumped on this as well. So naturally, these far-right people are condemning the school for apologizing. They're also trivializing the issue. Why it's just cartoons, mate. Why are you offended about cartoons? And of course some of them are making it seem as if Muslims are taking over and that's it, Sharia is everywhere, we're pretty much Iran now. Firstly, Muslims have exercised their freedom of speech by protesting. To claim they shouldn't have is contrary to the very notion you are claiming to defend. Secondly, not all protests are civilized. Sometimes certain people get overzealous. And we should not be focusing on the protesters as much as what is being protested. We've seen the same strategy used against Extinction Rebellion and of course the BLM marches as well. Thirdly, why is it called freedom of speech whenever Muslims are offended? Someone posted an offensive tweet against Captain Tom, you know the old Covid hero who raised all that money and this person has been charged and can face six months in prison. BBC presenters had to apologize last week when presenters called a guest's British flag small and laughed at him for having a picture of the Queen. Teachers have apologized for offending Jewish people and of course Christian people as well. And not to mention the Hindu community that got offended when a cartoon depicted Preeti Patel as a cow. And not to mention recently, the same makers of the cartoons offended the British patriots by depicting the Queen as a racist cop killer. Why the disparity? And not to forget the pronoun people who get offended morning, evening and night just because somebody gets their pronoun wrong. And can we also mention why no news outlet mentioned that the cartoon in question is an orientalist trope which we're combating daily as Muslims because it shows the Prophet as having a long nose, dark brown skin and pretty much a pillow on his head. And there's one discrepancy that I just can't get out of my head and that is how was this lesson allowed to take place? I mean every school has schemes of work in place, these detail what the teachers will teach on a daily basis. Yeah, and they're in a grid and they have to follow it. In fact, Ofsted asks if they are following it and they have to be annotated. These then have to be vetted by the subject leads. And of course, regular lesson observations take place internally and externally as well. So my question is, how on earth was this missed in the first place? This is a country based on free speech and teachers should be able to tackle difficult and controversial issues in the classroom and issues shouldn't be censored. Well thanks for your two cents Mr Housing Secretary. Then we should also tackle different issues like the evidence against Darwinism, yes, the inhumane torturing and killing by the British Empire of their subjects like squeezing the private parts of Africans with metal rods and this is to only name one. Number two, how UK's closest ally, the US has interfered in 50 countries since World War II and it's the only country to drop a nuclear bomb and even that when the country had surrendered. And the UK being complicit in the bombing of Yemen and Syria now when most students are unaware of this and how it's leading the world in corporate tax avoidance supplying weapons to countries they claim have human rights abuses and how it's failing its own people during the Covid crisis. Yeah, let's be fair and let's not be hypocrites.